Much love. So long. Blessings. Shalom, family. Praise the Most High, higher. Shalom. Try to give a few people to come in. We, uh, I'm not going to be really long today. I just want to go over a few things uh, for, for brothers and sisters to understand about the Feast of uh, Wave Offering, the Feast of Weeks, or the Feast of First Fruit this week, this sun, uh, this coming sun, uh, Sunday, Saturday at sundown, it's a Sunday, is the Feast of First Fruit. All right. Praise the most high higher. Are the children of Israel. Shalom. All right. Praise the highest. in the middle of the day, so brothers and sisters, if you come across this channel, it's just a friendly, brotherly reminder of the Holy Feast of First Fruits coming up this coming Sunday. Let me get ready to go in. So, uh, I think I need to put this camera up on this. All right. So, let me just not let this new play through this here. All right, I'm just let the music play through, bro. Sister Shalom. All right. Praise the Most High, higher. All right, brother. So we're gonna go to the calendar first. Because we know that uh, we already, we're going to actually read, uh, let's see, let me get this camera kind of tangled. All right. One moment. All right. Got the camera on wire untangled. It was a little bit tangled. So, let's see if I can do it like this. Turn it a little bit more towards everybody.
All right. Let's go to the calendar. So, brothers and sisters, that we know that we can ready to go into May, which actually yesterday was the first of May. But according to the scriptures of the Enoch calendar, it is. Uh, make sure you all can see this. It is. Let's see, the fifth. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Hold on. So out here, brothers and sisters. Be right here. Let's see. Monday. Today is yesterday was the first. So today is Tuesday. So be right here. <clears throat> and according to the scripture, we in still in the second month. Um, and it is the 29th, but it is the second of May, which is the fifth month, according to the moderate time, is the fifth month, but we are actually going by the Hebrew calendar. So it is uh, the 29th of the second month. Tomorrow will be the 30th of the second month of the year, which is the 3rd of May. Wednesday, I mean, or Thursday will be the first of the third, uh, first of the third month of the year, according to the Enoch calendar. Enoch calendar time, it would be the fourth. Friday will be the fifth of May, but actually is the second day of the third month of the year, according to the Enoch calendar. And let's see. One moment, you see something real quick. One moment. All right. Uh, Friday will be the 5th of uh, May, which is the 2nd of the 3rd month. And then Saturday is the 3rd day of the 3rd month, which is the 6th of May. And then we come right here. Uh, this is the fourth day of the month, which is the day of the holy feast of weeks, or a feast of unleavened, a feast of a, a holy day of feast of weeks, or the feast of first fruits. And it's going to be on the same day. Two feasts on the same day: feast of first fruits, feast of week, feast of first fruit, and a feast. A weeks is on Sunday. So now, so you got this out the way of the calendar. Let's go to uh, let's go to the screen and read. Let's read. Uh, Let me turn this music down a little bit. All right, I'm just going to let it play. Let's go to Leviticus 23. I actually found that in, uh, found the scriptures in Jubilee, but I'm not able to put it up on the screen. I got for one thing I want to one another thing I want to show you brothers and sisters here in the morning after I get done reading because I want to show you a book that you need to get my book finally came in the mail I got my book of uh, uh, pursuit of uh, pigrapher book pursuit of pigrapher book I finally got it in the mail all praises the most high higher and if you if you brothers and sisters need one i will also show you uh the website that you can go online and order it and i only got it for 20 uh, i think it was 20 dollars i believe you know some other some other websites charge 15 and 60 dollars 
some 40, some 50, some 60, some even 70. But I will show you all that here after this. I read this scripture for you all. And this is uh, one moment. All right. This is Leviticus 23, verse 6. All right, let me get this on here. Verse 6, starting at verse 6. 23, verse 6. It says, and um, sloppy. Verse 9, Leviticus 23, verse 9. Let's see, should we read this? You should read this all the way. You had the Passover, right? It says, Leviticus 23, verse 4. These are the feasts of the Most High, even the holy convocation which ye shall proclaim in their season. Verse 5, in the 14th day of the first month at even is the most highest Passover, is the Lord's Passover. 6, on the, on the 14th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the most highest. Seven days ye shall eat unleavened bread. 7, in the first day ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. 8, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the most high seven days in the seventh month. I mean, in the seven in seven days in the seventh in the seventh day is a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. To lock your family. All right. Leviticus twenty three verse nine and the most high spake unto Moses, saying, verse ten, speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them. When ye become into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheep of wave fruit, a sheep of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. Eleven, and ye and he shall wave the sheep before the most high to be accepted, accepted for you. On the morrow after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. See that? And this is out to see. Let's read, let's get all this. Verse 12. And ye, Shalom, Shalom, sir, sister, uh, sister Natalia, blessing, sis. All right. It's no problem at all, sis. Uh, let's see. We reading, uh, I just read uh, Leviticus 23, verse 4, all the way to 8. And now we reading, uh, 23 verse 9. Let's read it. Let me read it again. And it goes in and it says, The feast of first fruits. And the most high speak unto Moses, saying, Verse 10, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye become into the land which I give unto you and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheep of the first fruits. Of your harvest unto the uh, unto the priest, eleven, and he shall wave the sheep before the most high to be accepted accepted for you on the morrow after the Sabbath. The priest shall wave, wave it. Twelve, and ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheep offering and he lamb without blemish on the first year. For a burnt offering unto the Most High, thirteen, and the meat offering thereof shall be of ten, uh, two tenth gives of fine flour mingled with oil, and offering made by fire unto the Most High for a sweet and savory, and a drink offering unto uh, a drink offering thereof shall be of wine, and fourth part of a hen, fourteen. 
and ye shall eat neither bread nor perch corn nor green earth until the self same day that ye have brought an offering unto your power. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings, wherever we wherever we dwell. In. And it goes on to say, Feast of Weeks, the same thing on the same day, 23, 15. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought a sheep of offering, of, from the day that ye brought the sheep of wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be completed. See that? It says, and ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheep of wave offering, offering, seven Sabbaths shall be completed. So coming uh, this uh, this weekend, Saturday, when the sun goes down, going into Sunday, they will complete seven Sabbaths. And 16, it says, even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall ye number uh, 50 days and ye shall offer a meat offer uh, a, a new meat offering unto the most high. So he says, even even unto tomorrow after the Sabbath Sabbath shall ye number 50 days. Right? And ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the most high higher. So that will be according to the the calendar according to the days that the most high is, is, is commanded us to do this will be after the Sabbath, this coming Saturday, which will be Sunday. Verse 17, ye shall bring out of your habitation two wave loaves of temp deals. They shall be meat, they shall be a fine flour. They shall be bacon with leaven. They are the first fruit unto the most high higher. See, a tent deals. Say so you shall be. They shall be bacon. They be, they shall be a fine flour. They shall be bacon with leaven, so you can eat bread with leavening this day. Bacon with leavening, so you know we weren't supposed to eat bread with leavening during the feast of unleavened bread. So this feast we can eat bread and cakes. With leavening, eighteen, and ye shall offer the uh, with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year, and one young bullock and two rams. They shall be for a burnt offering unto the most high with their meat offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet savor unto the most high. All right. I do have some lamb. Let's see. I do still have some lamb that I'm going to, I might cook and bake it in the oven. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stir it in the skillet, but I might bake the lamb chop that I have in the oven. Let's see. 19. Oh, you can make chicken. You can bake chicken if you want. If you want to eat chicken, lamb. Quail is a meat offering. You can do that. If you want to bake fish, you can eat, uh, eat some fish if you want to on your feast. 19. Then ye shall sacrifice one kid of the goats for a sin offering and two lambs of the first year for a sacrifice of peace offering. Offerings. So we know that Christ was Always a sacrifice is a sacrifice now. All we have to do is uh, offer our, uh, our obedience to the Most High Higher and keep his feast. And how you keep the feast, offer your, your obedience to the Most High Higher by keeping his feast, keeping his commandments, cooking and eating. Stay, you know, do what you got to do. Try not to work. Do not try. Do not work if you don't have to. If you do not work, if you can't, if you if you're not required to be working, 
it's really good that people try to not work. You know, a lot of things that's going on, and some people do work on Sunday, but if you can, take off, you know, and do what the most high I tell you to do. All right, verse 20. The priest shall wave them for the uh, the priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruit for a wave offering before the most high with the two lambs. They shall be holy unto the most high for the priest. 21. And ye shall proclaim on the self same day, and ye shall proclaim on the self same day that it may be in holy convocation unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generation. 22. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean rid of the corners of thy field. When thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any clean gleaning of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am the most high your power. Let's go to Exodus 12. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Thought it was another scripture that I need to bring out. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 16. Deuteronomy chapter 16. Starting at verse 9. Seven weeks shall thou number unto thee. Begin to number the seven weeks from such time as thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn. Ten. And thou shalt keep the feast of wheat unto the most high thy power with a, a tribute of a free will offering of thy hand, which thou shalt give unto the most high thy power according, according as the most high thy power has blessed. Thy free will offering is uh, a sacrifice to stay away from sin. This is our free will offering for us to stay away from sin. Right? 11. And thou shalt rejoice before the Most High thy power, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy maid ser manservant and thy man maid ser and thy maid servant, Mr. Larkin, and thy maid uh, and thy man servant, and thy man servant, and thy maid servant, Sirachim, and the Levite that is within thy gates, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow that are among you in the place which the Most High thy power has chosen to place his name there. Twelve, and thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in Egypt, and thou shalt observe to do these statues. Glory to a higher. And another thing I want to go over with brothers and sisters, we are not to eat unclean foods, period. Let's go over clean and unclean. Brothers and sisters, you are not to eat unclean foods, period. Not during the feast, not no time. He said, and the most highest spoke unto Moses and Aaron, saying unto them, verse 12, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Three, whatsoever part of the hoof 
and his cold footed and cheweth the cut among the beasts that shall not that that shall ye eat for nevertheless these shall not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divided the who as a cam as the camel because he chewed the cud but divided not the who he is unclean unto you and it says verse five and the coney because he chewed the cud because uh but divided not the who he is unclean to you and the hair because he chewed the cud chewed the cud but divided not the who he is unclean to you and the swine through the he divided the who and be cloven foot cloven foot yet he chewed not the cud he is unclean to you eight of their flesh shall ye not eat and their carcass shall ye not touch they are unclean to you now these shall ye eat of all that are in the water whatsoever have fins and scales in the water in the sea and in the rivers them ye shall eat ten and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the river of all that move in the water uh, and all and of all and, and of any living thing which is in the water they shall be an abomination unto you all right verse 11 they shall be even an abomination unto you ye shall not eat of their flesh but shall have their carcasses in abomination 12 whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters that shall be an abomination unto you 13 and these are they which ye shall have in abomination among the fowl. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. The eagle and the ostrich and the osprey. Brothers and sisters, there's a video that I did back before the Passover to go into a matter of the food that we are not to eat uh, if you go and look at uh, the clean and unclean, it tells you that we are not to eat that. I think it was uh, the reminder of the Passover. Yes, it was called the video, the reminder of the Passover this weekend. Go watch that video and you will get the understanding of, as I went into details about the pictures of every animal that the Most High Highest said, we can't eat and every animal that he told us not to eat. So go watch that video called uh, The Reminder About the Passover uh, this weekend. So go and watch that, brothers and sisters. Verse 14. And the vulture and the kite after his time. 15. Every raven after his time. 16. And the owl, and the night hawk, and the cockerel, cockerel, and the hawk after his time. Seventeen, and the little owl, and the off morant, and the great owl. Eighteen. All right, eighteen. And the swine and the pelican and the gear eagle 19 and the stork and the heron after her time and the law rock black wing and the bat 20 all fowls that creep that creep going up on all four shall be an abomination unto you 21 yet these may ye eat of every flying creeping thing that go up on go up 
upon all four, which have egg, leg, which have legs above their above their feet to leap without with all upon the earth. Twenty two. Even these them ye may eat the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. 23. But all other flying creepy things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. 24. For and for these ye shall be unclean whatsoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until the evening. 25. And whatsoever burn off the, of the carcasses of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until evening. 26. The carcasses of every beast which divided the hoof is, uh, which divided the hoof and is not cloven footed nor chewed the cud are unclean unto you. Everyone that touches them shall be unclean. 27. And whatsoever go up on. Let me see. Get another. One moment, brother. And whatsoever go upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. What Whoso touch their carcasses, carcasses car, uh, carcass shall be unclean until the evening. 28. And he that bear the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. They are unclean unto you. 29. These are these also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep, creep upon the earth. The weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind. This means weasel, mouse, turtles, and tortoises. 30. And the fairy, and the chameleon, and the lizard, and the snail, and the mole. 31. These are unclean to you among all that creep it. Whatsoever do it touch them, when they are dead, shall be unclean until eve. 32. And upon whatsoever any of them, when they are dead, do fall it shall be unclean, whether it be any vessel of wood or ramen or, um, or skin or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be clean, uh, unclean until evening. So it shall be cleansed. So any under these things fall into your skillet, is unclean. You have to cleanse it. You have to wash it and cleanse it, and it will be clean when they eat in the evening. Thirty-three. And every earth earthen vessel, were into any of them fallen, fit or fallen, whatsoever is in it shall be super unclean, and ye shall break it. See that. So, let's go to 34. Of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water cometh shall be unclean, and all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. 35. And everything whereupon any part of their carcass falleth shall be unclean, whether it be oven or ranges or a four pots. 
see. They shall be broken down, for they are unclean, and shall be unclean unto you. 36. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean, but that which touched their conscience shall be unclean. 37. And if any part of their conscience fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But, 30, 38, but if any water be put upon the seed and any part of their carcass fall thereon, it shall be unclean. See that? So it says, but if any water be put on uh, put upon the seed and any part of the carcass fall thereon, it shall be clean, uh, unclean unto you. Thirty-nine, and if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that toucheth the carcass thereof shall be unclean until the evening. Forty, and he that eateth of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Evening, he. Also, that bird, the carcass of it, shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. Evening. E. Evening. 41. And every creeping thing that creepeth on upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. 42. Whatsoever go up upon the belly. And whatsoever go up upon all four, or whatsoever have more feet among all creeping things that creepeth creep upon the earth, them ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. 43. Ye shall not make yourself abominable with any creeping thing that creepeth, neither shall ye make yourself unclean. With them that ye should not be defiled thereby. 44. For I am the most high, higher, your power. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 45. For I am the most high higher that brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your power. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. For he said, This is the law of the beast and of the fowl and of the every creeping creature that moves in the water and every creature that creepeth upon the earth. 47. To make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Praise the higher. I pray you, brothers and sisters, got edification of the things that we cannot do on this on us. Uh, uh, During the Sabbath. And during uh, the Feast of Weeks, we have to keep this, you know, try your best to do all you can to keep the Most High Higher uh, word of saying. I know uh, brothers and sisters need to get food. I know a lot of things that be living in Babylon, and this place is very, very wicked. Because uh, I remember sometimes when I needed to go to the grocery store and didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store, a lot of stuff happened uh, when I needed to go get groceries for a holy feast. So I had I went out and grabbed food for my feast. But it was not because something that I was trying to do on purpose because 
that I needed food for the feast. So a lot of things that we do is understandable. Just try your best to get all that you need for your feast before. And if you do have to go out and get food for your feast, uh, just tell the most high higher you repent and, and ask for his understanding. He knows everything that we're going through. He knows that this place that we've been in all this time is a place that has oppressed our people and did many wicked things. Uh, uh, no problem, Sister uh, Natalia. No problem, Sis. Bless you. I pray that you're having a wonderful, beautiful, blessed, marvelous day and that everything is going mighty well with you. All that you need you, for you to have. No problem at all, Sis. Um, I'm trying to, uh, I just want to say that the Most High Higher knows our hearts. He knows that when we truly try to keep his commandments, he knows that things that we need. He knows all that we need, brothers and sisters. And just turn back to the most higher repent, keep his commandments, try your best and do the best you can to keep his commandments. We all mess up uh, sometimes, and we sometimes we fall short of the glory and just get pick yourself back up and repent. Whatever it is that might be trying to come against you, just repent. Let the Most High Higher bless and lead you all the way. And once again, let me show you, brothers and sisters. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, it's a lock in. Let me show you, brothers and sisters, uh, the website that you need to uh, go on to get that uh, that book. Is it on the floor? Let me see what it is. Let me see. This might be it right here. Let me see. One more, brother, sister. Uh, it is somewhere right here. It is, I think it's this one. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. One moment, brother. So, so I'm trying to find this website for you all. Uh, where is that website? Is it flow? Where is that website? Here it is. I found it. Barnes Noble, brothers and sisters. Actually, you go right here. Is this the Barnes Noble? I think this is it. Yes, I think it's where I got. Let me see if I can pull it up. Pseudo graph. One moment, let me see. I'm gonna show you the book that I got. I'll show you, I'll show you all in, in a minute. Let's see. Put a suit above. See, make sure I spelled it right.
Yes, it's not. This is not it because uh, the website I got mine. Uh, I got it for cheap. One moment, brothers and sisters. Let's see. Barnes, Money Hawk, Maps. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Found it. Books run. I think this is it. Yes, I got this. I paid a little bit uh, right here. So I actually got this book. You can get it. Uh, I got mine cheap, cheaper than this. You can, you can buy it for 43 or Marketplace for 39 You need this book right here, brothers and sisters. The Pseudopigrapher. Um, it says the apocryphal pseudo pigrapha of the Old Testament, Volume Two, pseudo pigrapha by Arthur uh, Charles R. H. Charles Charles R. H. Robert Henry. Publication date was two thousand four. Publisher. Is Apocryphal, Apocryphal Press. Format paperback, 800 pages. Christian book and Bibles. Judaism. Free shipping on all marketplace orders. So I got mine, brothers and sisters, and I'll show you here right now. So remember, it's called, this website is called Books Run. And this is what I think is where I ordered mine. From. Let's see, there's another one. I thought it was uh, one more. This book on on this website is kind of a little bit more expensive. Uh, hold on. The sooner. They got it, but it's $55 on this website. So the other ones I just showed you all is a, is the best way, best one to get this Pursuit of Pigger for book on this one. Books Run. This is where I bought mine from, I believe. Yeah. Yes. That was another one, though. 
me see. Uh, yes, bro. So just go on this website and get your book from her. Marketplace, you can get it for uh, $39 academic book solutions. You don't want to rent it because you need this book. All your brothers and sisters need this book. So go and get that book. And I'll show you what mine is. It's a really big book. It's a thick book. I'll show you real quick what my book looks like. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to show you, brothers and sisters. All right. Here's what the book looks like, brothers and sisters. You all need this book. Uh, it's a really big book called Pursuit of Pickerfoot. You brothers and sisters need this book. It's really thick, too. That's what the back was like. I finally got mine in the mail. I don't know when I got it in the mail. My my dad brought my uh my uh book to me, my packages. And I got a lot of stuff that when I order stuff, I don't have it coming to where I'm at now because I don't trust these area over here. I had some problems with people uh opening my mail, so I don't trust my mail coming here where I'm at. So I guess every time I order something, I got it, I have it sent to uh my dad's address and he bring me all my packages but pursuit of forget uh pick up you need this no problem says bless you in the tire be blessed have a wonderful uh wonderful beautiful blessed uh evening and week and i'll see you saturday on the shabbat blessings sister uh uh natalia much love sis shalom Blessing family. There it is. Pursuit of Pickle for you need this book. But much love, family. And uh may the most high higher bless and keep you in all the ways of holiness. Bless you, family. All right, see if I find my other one. I also need to get ready to go myself. Let this soft and <clears throat> and uh, handle a few things. Praise the Most High, Heavenly Father, higher, brothers and sisters. He is the King. Glory to the Father of Heaven. Shalom. Praise the higher. Bless us, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Stay strong. Stay prayed up. We are Zion. Praise the higher. That's right. Much love. Don't let the enemy bring you down. Keep faith. Keep strong. Stay fast on the righteous path and straight and narrow.
Much love, family. Shalom. Stay prayed up, family. Shalom. Have a blessed weekend. I mean, have a blessed week and see y'all Shabbat Sabbath. Shalom.